everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and let's talk Law of Attraction. Okay, so you've heard it all. If you do good things and you're in a good energy and you do a little vision board and you focus real hard like wah, 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 out of your brain that you will manifest everything and people one of the most popular videos on youtube is like i manifested this house i manifested blah i manifested me let's break that down all right because there this is energy work that we're talking about here and there are lots of great authors out there who have done a wonderful and thorough job of explaining or you know they're explaining it and people are trying to understand i don't know that it always lands but explaining how law of attraction works. It is not as simple as you just put your energy into it and it comes about. Is that possible? Yes. But what are you going to get if you're manifesting from the intellect? You're going to get something that is limited because you didn't work with the universe to see what all the options were. And you're going to be manifesting something that could be fleeting, okay? Why? It's not anchored in your heart. You didn't bring the heart into it. We're gonna unpack this, hang with me. Let's first address how we have been taught or what some people are trying to get us to believe about law of attraction. I manifested this house, right? We got someone who's just regurgitating what other authors have said. They're putting it into a YouTube video. They're getting millions of views on it. Well, I don't know, millions, but like, you know, a lot um, <laughs> and they're sitting there you know bragging about how they've manifested 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 and you find out that the house isn't even theirs they like moved in with someone and they're like yeah but I still get to live here yeah but it's not yours and you're saying how I manifested my house now, I know some people are going to get a little ruffled by that. And who knows? Like I, I make this video and then tomorrow I meet a millionaire who moves me into his home. Could happen. If that happens, I'll make an ever popular apology video complete with tears and a hoodie. I said that in another video. I'm serving it up again. Thank you. I'm going to help you stay out of trouble. If you're trying to manifest something purely for how it will make you look, or purely because it'll make you giddy, right? Um, you know, because uh, you know, a nice Maserati is going to make you giddy, right? Uh, if you're trying to come from that space, or you want just a a big fancy home so that you feel more powerful and above other people, you could very well get that by focusing your energy, because the mind is incredibly powerful. You could also get in trouble for not paying your taxes on it. You could also find that it's overwhelming to take care of. You could find that people now take advantage of you. Maybe now you feel like you're in danger all the time because now you're more in the spotlight for having this big piece of property. However, if you had come into your heart space and said, I just want to feel the experience of stability, beauty, grace. I want a sanctuary for my home. I know law of attraction people will say no you got to get really 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 specific it has to be this color this wow way to tune out the universe right <laughs> because you know all the options you know exactly what it should look like if we come into the heart and we start to feel what it would be like to have that stability to have the beauty love and grace the sanctuary feeling of a home for example with great neighbors in a beautiful town. You, you start to feel that. And then you say, universe, show me. Show me what that's like or something better. Show me what my options are. Now, you put that out into the universe and maybe according to you, nothing happens. Soul's contract. It may just not be time and you're trying to go against the grain here because in your intellect, in your third dimensional ego consciousness, this is supposed to happen by this age. This is supposed to happen now. And you grind down on energy just to get some ego satisfying results. Sometimes we're still learning 
sometimes we have to let some other things unfold before we can get to what we think we want. Now, it can work the other way where the universe goes, you ready? And if you really are, and ready means when you think of it, you get excited and you don't have any fear left. I see this a lot when people are trying to manifest fertility and trying to have a baby. One of the biggest hangups would be that in the manifestation process and tuning, getting your frequency in alignment with what you want, there's always one of the partners is scared. They're scared to be a parent or someone has some trauma in the sacral chakra region that they've never addressed. And so they can't understand why they're having all of these issues there. Okay. And it's not necessarily a bad thing if you didn't heal it. It's a process, right? But when we're talking about law of attraction and we're trying to pull in what we think is right for us right now and it doesn't come, what happens? You start to beat yourself up and your energy goes down and now you lose hope and now you're not even trying to manifest. Whereas, again, manifesting from the heart, leaving a little room for the universe to show us what's possible, honing that desire, if you want to call it a desire, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, as you start to have some self-discovery, right? And then going, okay, well, maybe this would be right. Okay, universe, I, I, I feel you. I see what you're trying to get me to understand about myself right now. Then show me what's right for me right now. I've had it thrown in my face that I rent an apartment. <laughs> it's the only thing that I rent, just the apartment, okay? And I used to like, that really kind of, it hurt. It was like, why, why are you on me? Because I'm renting an apartment. Well, because by your age, the mark of success is owning a house. And then I look around at people who are owning houses and they're constantly dishing out money for repairs. They're always worried about the taxes on those homes. Um, you know, there, there's one thing after another going on. And here I am over in my apartment where all that is taken care of. And as a single woman, as of the recording of this video, I have people near me. And especially during the times that we've had recording this in 2020, this has been my saving grace. Just hearing other people around me. I don't know what it would feel like as much as I had pushed and pushed and pushed on getting a house. I don't know what that would have felt like if I had come into 2020 with everything that's happened and I was all alone in a house. The universe protected me. There was a time where I was trying to manifest. So this is how I know to tell y'all, don't do this, okay? Do not as I do, because I learned from it. Let me save you from it. But in the past, I would get my sights set on a potential love partner and be like, oh, I hope that it works out. And I think that's adorable, whatever. But then I really start putting my, my, my mind behind it and like my heart is fluttering. It's not grounded, but it's fluttering. And next thing I know, it falls away. It just doesn't work. And then I find out later, there were so many other things about that person that I didn't know. And here I was putting all this energy into having a connection with this person when they actually would have been really bad for me, really bad for me. The universe was protecting me, okay? This is one of those topics that people love to debate all the live long day, right? Yeah, but, well, truly if, it's because we're still in this brainwashing that says the surface level stuff, what your life looks like, how much money you have, how many followers you have, that's what defines you as a successful, worthy person. And I often hear from beings that are pretty close to this creature we call God, source creator of the universe, whatever you want to call it, they tell me we have it all wrong. And that the beauty of life is experiencing a human story. So that would mean you end up not in a house. Maybe we'll just stick with that example. Or maybe it means you stay single for a little bit longer. Because 
somewhere deep inside of you, it's, you know, you know that you're not ready to give up your independence yet. You know that you still haven't really worked on what is it to be in a relationship in a healthy way and not lose myself. You know there are more steps to go. You're just trying to get out of the lesson. How do I know that? I do it all the time myself and I have to catch myself, okay? (laughs) Remember, I'm a human being over here, so we're all going through this together. So the reason why I'm saying this is, first of all, we all need to be careful what we are, in fact, going for what we're manifesting. If you're going after things that just take riches to get, that's not stable. That's not even, that could hide you away from your soul's contract instead of giving you the relief that you think it might bring. It's going to be a lot of responsibility. You're supposed to be human. Don't run away from that, okay? And, you know, the universe is trying to work with what your soul's intentions are. And what's more, when we're all tapping into the self-preservation mode, which the third dimensional ego consciousness is built for, and we're just focusing on what we think we want, again, we're shutting out the universe, but we're going into this narrow focus that maybe only benefits us, I don't know that it would harm other people, but maybe it doesn't, it doesn't take everybody else into consideration. Well, you're building up a little bit of bad energy there, right? When you're just laser focused on yourself. So there is a collective manifestation as well. So when we say we're, we're controlled, we're controlled, we're controlled, and we feel controlled, then we don't realize that the fence around us isn't actually real. And so we don't walk away. We believe that we are here and trapped in a certain situation. And so we remain that way. How can we figure all this out? You might be listening to this and go, Michelle, what are you even talking about? All you got to do is this. Tap into your heart space. Say, universe, I'm ready. And wait for the feedback. Because you might be saying, universe, I'm ready. And then you'll feel like a ping. It might even actually be in your heart space, a little ping. And you realize, oh yeah, I still haven't completely healed from my last relationship. All right. Well, (laughs) right. Or universe, I'm ready for that expensive car. Ping. Yeah, but I'm afraid someone would steal it. And I'd be worried about my car all the time. Right. You know, these sorts of things, the universe is giving you feedback on what you still have to learn before you can get down that road of that experience, okay? Let me know if how I'm saying it makes sense to you. I'll just leave it there so we don't keep overcomplicating it. Leave your comments down below. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, please make sure that you are subscribed, hit that notification bell, and like the video. All of that helps out quite a bit. So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.